Loin d'abord. Surprise. Hi guys, and welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is an actual H&K MP5K. No, it is not the 9mm version, I wish it was, but this is actually an air gun, CO2 powered BB gun, and it works really well. Now, this is produced by Umarex, uh, they produce airsoft rifles, and they also produce a lot of guns for H&K. Now, this fires steel BBs, and it's actually pretty cool, um, I really like it a lot. Yes, it does have a folding stock on it, and it makes it into a personal defense weapon, or if it was a real 9mm, it would. Um, the stock folds out really nicely. It's really nicely made. It folds out on the stock itself. It is a high-grade, heavy-set plastic. Uh, the top of the stock connected to the rifle is actually metal. Uh, you have a lot of metal components. You can actually pull it back, and it has a really good spring in there. Uh, fold it in, and it's going to stay in place pretty much. Uh, really nicely designed. The magazines are actually really neat. It holds, it only comes with one magazine. It holds 40 rounds of BBs and it works really well. Haven't had any issues with it. It's the actual size of an ancient K mag. Um, you can see the BBs once they're in. You can see them along the back spine. You actually have to pull the spring down and the spring locks into position. You press the bottom of the magazine to free the spring up once you have it fully loaded and puts all the BBs under tension. Uh, the other side of the magazine has uh, three little screws which hold the magazine together. I haven't taken this thing apart but I know it has something in it that weighs quite a bit, maybe a piece of lead or something, but uh, really nicely designed and it feels really really quality. Um, inserts into the magazine well and locks. Now the magazine release on the opposite side you usually have that little uh, button that doesn't work. It's actually fake. Um, it's just designed into the molded into the plastic, but it looks like you could press it. The actual release is actually that little tab on the bottom. You press that down and then you pull your magazine out. Now, the front end of the gun is actually really decent. Um, the handguard I really like on the uh, the smaller H and K MP5Ks. They just it really looks nice. This one comes off really good as a uh, really nice copy of the original. Overall, it's not really heavy, but it has some weight to it. I wish it was a little heavier. Uh, the safety is actually really easy to use. My only gripes about it, some of the parts on it, I just really don't like. The front end, I really don't like the actual um, charging handle. It's just really lightweight plastic. They could have added some weight to that or made it out of a solid piece of plastic. Uh, the front end is okay. The sights aren't the best. Uh, give you a little look at the sight picture. Now, for me, I really like H&K's original sights, and they don't have that barrel, the little holes. Uh, they use the slots. That's more like the uh, GSG, you know, but whatever. It's okay. Now, the part that I do like on it is where you put the CO2 in. You actually put it in the back end here. You have to, these two are pins, actually, that work. You can pull these two pins if you want to and take off the whole stock on the back end. Now, the back end stock, you can't replace it. Uh, because what happens is it has a little thing here that you put your CO2 cartridge right in this position inside the gun. Uh, the CO2 cartridge fits in that spot and then there's a little tab on the back of this stock piece where you can screw it down and tighten it. If you were to replace the stock with any other kind of stock you wouldn't have that little piece and you couldn't tighten the, the CO2 cartridge down so the gun wouldn't work. So be aware of that. Um, other than that, you know, it's really cool. The uh, blowback design, now being a blowback gun, it's usually in a handgun it's really cool because you have that whole slide moving. In the case of a rifle, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, all this, the only thing that moves is this little tiny piece right here that would cover the actual uh, bolt. But in reality, it doesn't move any weight around, so you can't really feel it move. Uh, you just see it cycle every little bit, and it does it really quick. So for me, I wish it would have just used up all that air in the actual weapon. Um, the power on the gun is one of the things that is sort of like questionable. It is powerful enough 
to uh, definitely tear up a uh, an aluminum can, but yet most uh, airsoft guns can actually tear up an aluminum can. So you can't really say how powerful it is with an aluminum can. Usually, I try the uh, the metal cans, the soup cans, and stuff. And on a metal can, it dented it up pretty good. Um, there was a few cases when I was shooting it. Uh, maybe two out of three shots, they'd actually have enough force behind the BB to actually pierce the can, but it wouldn't go through the can. Now, I have another BB gun. It's actually a pistol made by Crossman, and it goes straight through the can. I mean, hits one side and then comes out the other. Um, with this one, it actually just pierced the one side, and then the BB just spun around inside. So it doesn't have enough force to actually go through a can, but it has enough to puncture it a little bit. So with that, you know... I give it some props because it is strong enough to hit through the can, um, but just not enough to clear it. As far as overall looks and cosmetics on the gun, they're outstanding. I mean, it's a really nice gun, very nice design, and uh, I really like it a lot. So with that, that's my little review. Um, if you have a chance to shoot one of these little things, you'll definitely like it. I mean, I love the gun. I love the design of it. And having that little folding stock it just makes it really nice. Um, it's a really neat little option for a, a BB gun. So you guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And we'll definitely talk to you soon. Okay, guys. Here's one little thing I wanted to show you. Now, you actually push and pull on that little piece right here that unlocks it. And uh, you can actually take off the uh, flash hider and then you go ahead now this is an actual little pin here you have to it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do with one hand but once you pull this pin out it has a little I don't know if you can see it there it is a little pin that uh, locks it in and then you can actually pull off your front end handguard and uh, that's what it looks like without a handguard